Okay guys, um, this is a 2007 Acura RDX. Um, I had this issue where the key gets stuck in the ignition, okay? All you need is a flathead, okay? You need a Phillips screwdriver. You need an all-purpose uh, lubricant, okay? And uh, you need to be careful taking out the plastics. There's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, five screws to remove, okay? So what you wanna do is right here, if you can see right here, okay? When you turn the card in the on position, this goes like that. When your key is not coming off, the problem is that it's stuck in this position, okay? And you see how it moves to the left? It's not moving to the left. It's moving to the left now because I properly lubricated this uh, this uh, this whole mechanism right here. You see it? That's the me mechanism. That's how, this is the right way for it to act. Open, close. Close is for, you know, you're about to drive off. Open is you're about to take the key off. So what happens is that when the car, th this here is stuck and is losing lubricant, it's in this position, even when you're supposed to be taking your key out. In this position, you cannot take the key off. It was designed so that you can actually drive the car without being able to take the key off so the car can stay running and this mechanism is allowed to move to the left telling the car that okay the car is in park and now the driver is about to remove the key that's why it moves to the left disengaging all ignition apparatus okay so at this position now you can take off the key so when your key is stuck and it's not coming out sometimes it happens uh, uh for example in my case i turn the key in this position wanting to charge my phone i just turned it in this position i wanted to charge my phone so left it for a couple of minutes uh, maybe hour maybe an hour or so and when i came back it was stuck in this position it wouldn't go back to this position so what you need to do is open up this whole apparatus right here okay it's not a lot of work. I thought it was a lot of work. My mechanic was uh, telling me that it was the shifter. Everybody will tell you it's this. You go to the locksmith. The locksmith is going to tell you you need a whole new steering column or you need an ignition switch. You don't. Okay. You just need to take out uh, uh, some time. It really, if I knew what I was doing initially, this actually takes less than 15 minutes to fix. So you just need to open this up. Okay. Get the column in this, in this situation and then just lubricate this you know as much as you can lubricate the heck out of this whole situation so you want to start lubricating in this position and then turn it to this position lubricate turn it to this position lubricate and just keep lubricating okay keep turning it and turning it so that you know that there's enough lubricant in there that it's not gonna get stuck again okay so you just keep doing that and keep doing that People are gonna try to charge you $500 to fix this. You don't need $500. You just need this right here, okay? You need a Phillips, okay? Phillips. You need a flat head. You know, probably a longer one, okay? And you have five screws to take out. That's it. You just need to be careful so you don't break anything, all right? If you can do this right here, you know, you save yourself $500 to $1,000 because most people are going to try to get you to change this whole mechanism. You don't need to change this mechanism. You don't need to change the whole steering column. You just need to fix this situation right here, which is just a lubrication problem. You need to lubricate this right here. Okay? All right, guys. And I wish you luck. Bye.